So what in the world is woven wire mesh? What does it do? Would it help in my operation? Well, look no further. I'll explain everything you need to know, so stick around. Hi there, what's up? My name is Andrew Kotlar, and woven wire mesh is one of the most versatile materials in the world, helping to facilitate various operations across countless industries. From enhancing the design of a structure with a dynamic look to filtering out unwanted contaminants, woven wire mesh affects our everyday lives in more ways than one. But at first glance, it can kind of be hard to truly understand the principles and possibilities of woven wire mesh. This leaves us with the underlying question, what is woven wire mesh? We understand that woven wire mesh can sometimes be underwhelming, but with 150 years of experience, we have seen mesh deliver actual results that have revolutionized operations for our customers. So in this video, we'll go over what woven wire mesh is, how woven wire mesh is made, the form factors of wire mesh, woven wire mesh applications, and how much woven wire mesh costs. Woven wire mesh, also referred to as woven metal mesh and wire cloth, are rolls, sheets, or components of interlocked metallic wires that undergo a weaving process to take on a specific weave pattern. The number of individual wires used to construct the mesh is predetermined, along with the weave pattern, wire diameter, aperture size, micron rating, width, and length. Woven wire mesh is woven using a specialized weaving loom designed to work with metallic wires. Looms are typically set up to weave 48 inch, 60 inch, or 72 inch mesh rolls. However, 98 inch and wider have become available in recent years. Now, using a weaving technique that's similar to weaving clothing, the weaving loom works to interlock each individual wire using the tension at each cross section to keep the mesh intact. So to that end, current technology allows for opening sizes ranging from five microns to four inches. All woven wire mesh products are woven similarly. That said, wire mesh is available in three form factors, each with its own beneficial qualities. These form factors are square mesh, filter mesh, and architectural mesh. Woven wire square mesh is a wire mesh variant that consists of weft and warp wires that share identical wire diameters. It can be woven to plain weave, intercrimped weave, or pre-crimped weave specifications, depending on your needs. And so, square mesh is typically available in wire mesh rolls or cut-to-size mesh panels. Metal mesh filters, also referred to as stainless steel filter mesh, is when the network of metallic wires is woven to form porous, rigid openings. Filter mesh is typically designed to remove contaminants from a, a given substance or extract certain particles to create a filter cake. When it comes to availability, you can purchase filter mesh in rolls or cut to size pieces, much like square mesh. Additionally though, filter mesh can be fabricated to a specific size and shape to fit in your filter system. Architectural mesh, also known as metal mesh fabric, is a high tensile mesh used as a design element for architecture. The mesh is typically constructed from 316 stainless steel up to 80% recycled to remain as sustainable as possible. It's important to know that while the mesh is rigid enough to provide a safer environment within structures like parking garages, there remains a sense of flexibility when tensioned. This allows to be applied to almost any structure, regardless if the design parameters of the structure are standard or irregular. When wire mesh is woven specifically to be used in test sieves, it's referred to as sieve cloth. What makes sieve cloth stand out from other mesh variants is that it's woven to a specified nominal opening with a specific wire diameter. More importantly, it's woven to be complied with ASTM E11 and ISO 3310-1 standards. While it's generally reserved to test sieve construction, it can also be applied to large-scale screening operations. Industrial wire mesh is used to encompass the use of square mesh or filter mesh on a large scale. In other words, any time wire mesh is purchased in rolls or large quantities of cut to size pieces, it's considered industrial mesh. When it comes to applications, industrial mesh is great for industries that want to handle any custom fabrication in-house. This includes the automotive, medical, and filtration industries. When the correct mesh openings are applied to wire mesh, it can provide substantial benefits to your screen printing process. When compared to other materials like nylon mesh, wire mesh offers enhanced tensioning capabilities, durability, ink distribution, and cost savings. Since wire mesh can be fabricated to take on a specific size and shape, in order to be considered a fabricated wire mesh part, a value-added service must be added to achieve the desired form. Now, while the possibilities of what can be achieved with wire mesh are virtually limitless, the most common forms are cut-to-size pieces, deep-drawn parts, edge solutions, pressed articles, and cylindrical filter cartridges. 
Regardless if you're implementing sieve cloth, industrial mesh, architectural mesh, or filter mesh, the factors that influence the cost of wire mesh are fairly the same. This includes the size, shape, mesh specifications, quantity, alloy, and layer configuration uh, for the fabricated parts only. Any additional requirements such as DFARS compliance and value-added services will also factor into the overall cost of the mesh. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, fill out a contact us form so we can answer your specific questions. Just click the link in the description. And if you'd like to learn even more about Woven Wire Mesh or our many products, we have a learning center filled with written and video content to make you an expert. Just click that second link and you'll be that expert in no time. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and ring that bell to keep up with all things WS Tyler. Once again, my name's Andrew Kotlar and I'll see you around in the next video. Bye for now.